Hi and welcome to my channel. This is your cardio seated Pilates workout. All exercises will be performed seated in our chair. Make sure that you've got a nice sturdy chair, preferably without any armrests. So this video is cardio. We're gonna increase our heart rate so the moves will be performed at a little bit quicker pace, but still definitely achievable. We're gonna increase that heart rate and feel amazing. Let's go ahead and get started, making sure that you're sitting up nice and tall in your chair. Your knees are coming straight up from your hips and they're bent at a 90 degree angle, feet flat on the floor. Big inhale, roll those shoulders down and back. And then round the back, dropping your neck, gazing up at your belly button. And then the opposite, little cat cow here. We lift our chin, shoulders down and back, proud chest leaning slightly forward. Again, drop the chin, round the back, gazing up at that navel. And chin up, shoulders down and back, nice proud chest one more time. Into that cat, rounding the back. And all the way up. And exhale, let's come back down to a neutral position. Arms extended at our sides, reaching the fingertips towards the floor. Drop the right ear towards the right shoulder, feeling a beautiful stretch in the neck. And then keeping it to the side, drop that chin down closer to your chest. We lift up, lift back to center. And other side, left ear towards the left shoulder. Keep the arms extended, shoulders down and back. And then drop that chin. And we lift again, dropping the chin towards the chest. Nice and slow, let's just roll that neck all the way to the right. Drop the chin, roll it all the way to the left. Just loosening up that neck here. One more each side. Coming back to center, lift that chin, bend big arm circles all the way up and around here. Inhale, exhale. As big as you can, really reach those fingertips. Here we go, increasing that heart rate. Let's get the blood flowing. Give me three two and one palms facing each other reach for really extending from those arms and then arms come back palms to the ceiling straight elbows and we're going to pulse for three two and one we reach forward and back for three two and one sitting up nice and tall we reach back for three two and one we reach back for three really stretch those arms we're trying to high five the ceiling here. Back, two, and three. Two more times. We reach, palms up, two, and three. Reach it forward, reach it back, two, and three. Relax it down, nice job. Lifting that right leg, straightening the knee, squeezing the quad, and put it back down. Same leg, we lift and tap. Sit up nice and tall. As always with Pilates, we're engaging our core. Shoulders are down and back, thinking of a lot of things all at once here. Keeping our spine aligned. Give me three, two, and one. Let's do the left side. Lift that leg, squeeze the top. As straight as you can get it. Foot is just neutral. Lift and lower for three, two, get ready for our doubles, both legs lift and lower, control the descent, don't just let the legs drop, using our muscles here, squeeze and release, we've got three, two, and one, adding on back to that right leg. We're gonna straighten it, lifting the bottom leg, then a little teeny lift, just an inch, and then put it back down. So we lift, lift the whole leg, and release. Again, really squeezing, lifting that leg, using the quad. You'll feel it a little bit in the hip flexors as well. 
And we should even be working our core here, a little left. The core helps everything. That's why it's so important to keep it strong. One more. Lift, double lift, release, other side. Straighten, little lift, put it down, and lower. Everything is nice and controlled. Making all these muscles work. Left, double left, release. We've got two more here. Last one, squeeze it. All right, zip those knees together and those feet together. Double lifts here, but I don't expect us to lift both legs up out of the chair. So what we're gonna do is lift the feet, then we're gonna do a little turn out. So we're turning out from the hips. Think about squeezing those glutes together and the knees coming out to the side, back to the top, and then lower down. Woo, hello muscles. Here we go. We lift, turn out, hands can hold onto that chair, and lower with control. Lift, turn out. Good, you should be really feeling this all along the sides of your legs and the inner thighs, keeping those legs glued together. Turn out. Two more here. We lift, turn out, center, and drop it. Lift, turn out, center, and drop it. Nice job. Let's give the legs a break. Sitting up nice and tall, relaxing them back at that 90 degree position. Palms are up, elbows glued to the waistline, take them out to the side, straighten the arms out to the side and bring those elbows back in. Check your posture, shoulders down and back and we're sitting up as tall as we possibly can. Really lengthen that spine. Everything here with Pilates is done with intention. So you're really using your own resistance here. Reach them out, pull them in. So you should be feeling this in your upper back as well, the biceps, all at once. Give me one more here. Take the palms back in, and then just the hands out to the side, keeping the elbows glued into that waistline. Good for that rotator cuff. Excellent. Out and in for three, two, and one, we're going back out to the side. We're gonna flip the palms down or even to the back if you're able to, and then back up. Palms back, palms up, palms back. Nice flip here, rotating in that shoulder. So not just the wrist or not just the elbows. So it's like a little bend, a little straighten. Not a big movement. That should be getting nice and warm. Give me two more. And then we're gonna put all three of those moves together. So what we do is we come forward, we come to the side, lift it out, flip back, flip up, elbows in, into the front. You got it? Side, lift, flip, elbows in to the front. You got it. Flip and up, elbows in, front. Check that posture while we're doing this. Shoulders stay down and back the whole time. Nice and lifted, core is engaged. Excellent, few more. Out, flip back, and up, and in. Those shoulders should be feeling nice and warm here. Last time, take it out, side, flip, flip, and in, nice job. Roll those shoulders down and back. Shake it out if you need to. Sitting forward in our chair. Legs are still bent at a 90 degree. And then we're gonna take both arms up. So the elbow's also 90 degree and open up to the side. Just the right side. Knee and elbow at the same time are coming out and in. So knee stays bent the whole time. We're rotating out from that hip out and in give me four three torso stays straight forward towards me excellent other side we go out and in knee stays bent so don't extend it out don't worry we'll do that later out and in 
two more. Doubles, here we go. Out and in. You can slide your feet on the floor or you can, you know, hop them out. Everything's still low impact. Let's get that heart rate up for four, three, two, and one. Zip everything here towards center. Scooch towards the edge of your chair if you're able to. We're gonna plant those feet and then we're gonna lift up out of that chair. Little stand, lifting the arms to the ceiling again if you can. And then we go out and in just three more times. We lift up. If you're not able to sit up out of your chair, then just lift your arms overhead. Here we go. Up. Use those muscles. Out and in. And lift. Out and in. Hop back out again. Same thing, but in this wider position. Make sure those ankles are underneath those knees. We press up and come down. In and out. Push through those heels. Arms come up if you want them to. Lift, squeeze, last time. Up, squeeze. Let's stay out here, lower those arms. Take those knees and I want you to turn them in and then out, so pushing the knees back. Knees in, knees out. So feet stay flat on the floor and we're sitting up nice and tall. I just want you to feel this rotation in the hips and we're squeezing those hip muscles and those butt muscles together and out, together and out. So good, give me four for three, two, last one. Hold those knees out to the side. Nice little stretch break here. Chin comes forward as a nice flat back. We hinge forward, straight spine, drop the chin, pull the belly button in, and we roll it up, stacking that spine nice and slow. That feels amazing. A few more times, chin up, chest forward, dropping all the way down. Tuck the chin, tummy's in. We roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Again, make a nice fluid movement here. Drop the chin and roll it up. Shoulders down and back. Last time, chin up, chest forward, flat back. Keep the knees pressed back. Drop the chin and we roll it all the way up. Again, finishing with those shoulders down and back. Toe heel those feet in. Coming back to our 90 degree position, ankles underneath the knees, knees coming straight out from the hips. Big inhale, arms come up. And then we're gonna cactus here down. So palms facing me, bend the elbows, and then squeeze that upper back like you're trying to squeeze your elbows together behind your back. We lift up, inhale. Exhale, squeeze down. Inhale up. Exhale, squeeze down. Lift and lower again, using our own resistance here. So pretend like you're really pulling something heavy down back behind you. One more time, lift, exhale down, hold it here. Engage that core, we're gonna twist it to the side and come back to center. Twist other side and center. Brace that core. So you feel this in the sides of your waistline and your abdominals, not in your lower back. Come back to center and let's put those two together. So we reach up, bring them down, twist left, center, twist right, and center. Again, lift, pull them down, twist side, center, side, and center. Make sure your vertebrae are stacked directly on top of each other. We're not hinged forward or back. You have an invisible string lifting your head up even higher. Reach and down. We twist, center, twist, 
and center one more time lift and down twist center twist center excellent job lower those arms a little more abdominal work coming forward into your chair and then I want you to lean back. We have a little C curve here so that belly button is drawn in. And then hold onto the side of your chair for a single leg bicycle. So we're going to lift that right leg, bringing the knee towards the chest, and then pedal it straight out and bring it back in. Again, core exercise here. Making sure we're using our abdominals to help lift that leg and extend it out. It's a great one for the lower abs. Two more here. And now let's reverse it. So we go out, then bring the knee in, bicycling backwards. Just that right leg. Keep the tummy in and keep breathing. One more time and put it down. Excellent, other side, pedal forward first. Knee comes up and in and then straighten it, pedal it out. using our hamstrings, our quads, and our core here. Make these as big as you can and think about lengthening all those muscles. Really stretch it out. One more. Let's reverse it. Out, knee in. God, are you breathing? Make sure that tummy's pulled in. Good job, doesn't, remember how, doesn't matter how high that leg comes up. And relax down. Okay, option here. We're doing full on bicycles, so both legs at once. If that is not your jam, then go ahead and go back to those singles. We only have six, but here we go. We're gonna lift those knees and we pedal out. That was one, two, three, Four, make it big, five, and six. Relax down, beautiful job. Woo, shake that out, big inhale, arms come up, and exhale down. Coming to the edge of our chair again. Slight hinge forward, again that belly button is drawn in, and we're gonna scissor our arms. So the tummy's in, keeping everything in line with our spine. So we're just looking a couple feet in front of us on the floor with straight arms, palms facing in. We're just switching here. Really want you to engage those arm muscles and the upper back. Reach and reach. Give me three, two straight elbows and one. Just that right leg. I want you to extend it out to the side and then pull it back in using that hip muscle. And it's okay if the leg doesn't straighten all the way. Use those hip muscles. All right, we're gonna put those two together. Here we go. Optional leg out to the side as we scissor those arms reaching. Excellent. Here comes that cardio guys. Give me three two and one beautiful job same thing left leg just the leg four times extend it out bring it in out and in if one leg feels tougher than the other that's totally normal no one's symmetrical let's add those arms out and in reach them are you breathing we inhale and exhale. We've got four for three, two, and one. Relax down, give a little wiggle, shake out those hips. You guys, a little bit more core, then we get to stretch our favorite part. Sitting up nice and tall, take those elbows out wide, hands behind the head. A little crunch here, bringing the opposite elbow to the opposite knee. So we crunch to the side, lift up, really lengthening, stretching, bringing that elbow back. A little crunch and left. Crunch forward, using those abdominals 
and then sitting up nice and tall. We've got four, three, two, and one. Let's take it to the other side. Crunch and left. Bring that elbow back. So we don't want to stay bent forward. Bend, lift and open. Exhale and inhale for three, two, and one. Nice job. We're going to do that one more time with an optional leg extension. So it looks like this. Same thing, elbow to the knee. And you can keep it as we just did, putting that leg down, or you're going to crunch with the leg out to the side. We'll crunch, side. Really pull it in, extend it out. So we're making ourselves small here, and then open it up wide. You're breathing. Good, we've got three for two and one. Beautiful job, other side. Here we go, crunch, extend, crunch, extend. Or if you're not feeling that leg extension, just put that foot back down. You do you. We've got four and three, stretch. Two and one. Bring that leg back in. Relax those arms back down to the side. So good. Let's stretch everything out. Big inhale, arms come up. And exhale down. Taking your right leg, let's cross that ankle on top of, above the knee, on top of the thigh. If you are unable to do this, you can always cross here with legs extended at the shin as well, just opening up that hip. Flex the foot, sitting up nice and tall. We inhale and exhale to deepen that stretch. We can bend slightly forward. You should be feeling this right in the side of your seat in that hip here. Beautiful stretch for all those leg extensions. Hold here, one more big inhale and exhale. Sit up nice and tall. Let's release that leg down. We're going to swivel in our chairs. Taking your right leg, we're going to drop it down so our knee is pointed towards the floor. Really stretching out that hip flexor. Sit up nice and tall, holding onto the back of your chair for support, and then extend your leg back just as you comfortably can. I don't want you to feel any pressure in that lower back, but I really want you to feel a beautiful stretch in that hip flexor. Holding it here. We inhale, arm comes up. Exhale, lean back over your chair. Inhale up and exhale down. Bend your knee more, bringing it straight down towards the floor again. If you're able to, let's grab our ankle or maybe you can just grab onto your pant leg. That's great too for a little hamstring stretch excuse me, quad stretch. So dropping that knee, think about doing a little pelvic tilt forward to really feel that stretch sitting up nice and tall and that heel comes towards your bum. Excellent, inhale. And let's release it. As we exhale, bring that knee back up and then we're gonna swivel back towards the other side. Okay, so left leg comes up, crossing at the ankle or on top of the thigh. Big inhale. Exhale, leaning slightly forward to deepen that stretch. Nice straight spine. Hold here for one more big inhale. And exhale, let's get that heart rate back down. And come on up out of that. Uncross that leg, let's swivel. Dropping that knee towards the floor. Sitting up nice and tall, let's extend it back as much as you comfortably can, feeling that stretch in that front hip flexor. Left hand comes up, big reach up, inhale, and exhale, leaning back over that right shoulder. 
inhale reach it up exhale lower the hand down bending the knee bringing that foot back and again holding on wherever you can to your pants or maybe if you had a stretch strap knee towards the floor little pelvic tuck here and bring the heel towards the bum to feel that stretch in the front of the thigh our thank you to our bodies for all those leg lifts let's release out our hip flexors are always tight from sitting too much we all sit too much inhale exhale release it down bringing both feet back and let's swivel back towards the center right arm goes up reach it nice and high we inhale exhale big stretch over to the side and release it down inhale exhale over to the side and release it down both arms reach forward inhale exhale as we kind of dive over rounding our back settling down here maybe your chest even drops to your legs relaxing that lower back and then pull that belly button in and then we roll it up nice and slow stacking that spine one vertebrae at a time let's do that again big inhale arms come up exhale dive over pulling the tummy in like we have a ball sitting on top of our thighs or rounding our back over tummy in relax the arms we round it up again finishing with those shoulders one more time inhale up exhale rounding forward this should feel magical on your back tummy in stack that spine one vertebrae at a time roll those shoulders all the way arms come out to the side cross one arm over the other walk those fingers back give yourself a big hug here drop those shoulders feeling a beautiful stretch in that upper back inhale exhale arms back out to the side crisscross other arm on top this time again walk those fingers back give yourself a big hug inhale keep that hug drop the shoulders one more inch one more big inhale and exhale down inhale one more time up and exhale down just like we started let's finish with some big arm circles here releasing any last bit of tension give me three two and one i hope you feel amazing thank you so much for joining me today if you loved this video please give it a like check out my others i have all sorts of workouts on my page please subscribe if you haven't already thanks for working out with me and we'll see you next time